Hey everybody! Well, this is going to be a real quick video. I've already done a video of one of these before, and what it is, is it's one of these Jurassic World Mosquito in Amber props. Now, uh, I'll compare the one I just showed you to this one. This is a different one that is not, um, it, it just says Jurassic Mosquito 3D. So it isn't uh, licensed, you know, it doesn't have the uh, Jurassic World logo on it. The, lo the other one I got from Toink. This one is from a company called, is it Vio, Viogene, Viogene? It's right down there at the bottom. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but here it is. Let's take a look. Alrighty. So it's packaged very similar to the other one. And this, oh wow, this one's actually way bigger. This one's way bigger than the other one. Oh wow, that's crazy. Okay, let's open this up. Wow, this thing's huge! Oh my gosh! Okay, now see this. Look at this thing. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. And that is creepy. That is really, really creepy. i got to get some close-ups of this. Now, the good thing about this one is the mosquito is an actual... Mos I mean, it's, it's a three-dimensional mosquito. I think it's a rubber one in there. I don't think I've ever seen a mosquito that big. But I want to compare it to the other one because this one is far superior. Wow, this thing is, this is crazy. All right, let's take a closer look. Okay, so apologies for the glare on this thing. It's so hard to film stuff like this, but I just want to show you how creepy. Let me see if I can get a good light on there. Can I get a good lighting? Look at how creepy that mosquito is. I mean, it is, it's very detailed. It looks like a real mosquito. I mean, it really does. I'm assuming that that's just a, a rubber thing you can kind of tell down there that it's rubber but how creepy is that look how huge that is ah it's so hard to get a good view of this because of the because of the glare you can really see it in there it's really eerie looking there's the front of it there's the top of it you can see the wings on there there's some wings the legs are all spindly and creepy looking. You can see the eyes, the stinger on the front. Look at that. That is really, that is really crazy. Now this one doesn't have any uh, logo or anything on the bottom like the other one does. And you can see the other one in the background there. I'm going to compare these two. This thing's so much bigger than the other one. I'm not sure uh, which one's actual size. I don't remember. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. I'm going to have to go back and see which one is actual size. You can see the line right there. See that? The molding line? So they poured the uh, resin up to this point here first. They put the mosquito in, and then they poured the rest of the resin right there. So that's where you can kind of see the line. I've always been fascinated with stuff encased in resin. Wow, that's really neat. Okay, let's compare it to the other one. All right, so looking at these side by side. So this is the Toink version right here, and you can see how much smaller. I mean, it's significantly smaller than the other version of it. Now, as I mentioned, my biggest complaint of this one is that the mosquito, you can see right here, is when I turn it, it's flat. So you can't, you can't even see it at this point because it just disappears. And all that is is a little insert, like a paper insert or a clear plastic that just has the image of a mosquito on it. And I always thought that was a little bit cheesy on that one. So this one here is definitely not that way. That is a full-on 3D repulsive <laughs> mosquito you can see the difference in that that's really cool now this one as i said was officially licensed because it's got the jurassic world logo on there and surprisingly this one was more expensive i think i paid 30 dollars for this one this one here is on sale on amazon for 22.95 or something like that like 23 dollars so this one was cheaper and it's bigger you get a nicer looking mosquito and and then this one so i highly recommend this this is really cool as i mentioned in the video for this one a lot of people are turning these into shifter knobs on their stick shifts or their car that is a really cool thing to do i mean it's you'd have to drill into it of course and i'm not sure how far in you'd have to go to uh, be able to put it in there but that would be a great idea i've also seen door knobs for doors made uh, out of these and just like this one there is no um bubbles there's no air bubbles in there so they're very nicely cast they're cast very very good 
Yeah, really cool. I love these things. I don't know why they're they're so creepy. <laughs> I mean, this one here is really creepy, which makes it all the more cool. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, um, Amazon is where I bought these. Uh, what was it? Viogen. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name of the company that makes that, but uh, yeah, this one here is is far superior, and looks a lot better. So that's really neat. All right. Well, just a short little video here. I you know I saw this and I thought, well, I probably should go ahead and do a video on this because I kind of left the other one. Um, I don't know, I felt unresolved with that one because that, that mosquito didn't look as good as this. But this one is really cool. All right, well, check it out. Um, you know, maybe I'll put a, a link in the description if you want to get one of these. I'll put one, a link in there, and that way you can just click on it and check it out. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I very much appreciate it. And until the next video, I will see you then. So thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.